Have you ever wondered what's beyond the curtain? The curtain, the, the curtain of darkness that stops us from seeing the true light and the light of God through Jesus Christ. The curtain that the adversary and that sin has separated us from the love of God because we believe that we of our own selves can do something, right? Well, even within this Christian walk, we do have a curtain. Sometimes the curtain is within us that needs to be shed and we need to unlearn even character traits. We have to unlearn the lies that have been told to us at our schools. Hmm? The lies that have been told to us at our churches. Hmm? The lies that <laughs> it just goes on and on and on and things are being revealed. This means the curtain is opening up. The curtain is opening up for you to see light, for me to see light, for us equally to see light. You know, when you know God is talking to you, I'm working on a, on a project concerning the mark of the beast. Something that I have never shut, shed a light on because it was not my time. Uh, I believe that now is my time to be able to share this. People think the mark of the beast is a microchip. Some people think the mark of the beast has to do with me me weather manipulation. <laughs> Some people think the mark of the beast has to do with character traits. Uh, definitely has to do with accepting Christ as your personal savior, humility, being able to see the unseen. Well, some people say, I'd like to be just uh, praise the Lord and be simple. But we have Proverbs that says, how long will you simple ones love simplicity? I'm trying to reach out my hand to you and you won't do it. And then I will leave you to the God of your choosing. He brings more light. And whatever light we can get stuck in, our pride, and this is including myself, won't let us receive the additional light because we believe what we know is true. And it could be very well true, but there's more to come. We need to know our savior. So Revelation talks about the beast. If we know what the beast is, then we'll know the system, right? We'll be aware when it comes abroad. We all talk about the beast, but the Bible doesn't speak of just one beast. It speaks about two beasts, and it speaks of a dragon. And it talks about how they're all going to work together to bring you into a one understanding within the spirit of the mind so that it's all what's good is evil and what's evil is good. Remember Isaiah. It says, woe well, unto you that call evil good and good evil. How can the conscious mind, our carnal brothers and sisters that we brought were brought up, how can we really believe that evil is good? This is how mixed up the world's going to be and starting to see it even within our own minds and how we treat one another and we think it's okay. It's not okay. We are to be able to stand and we are be to be able to walk in that light. What I'm going to do is I'm going to work on this. I am, you know, I, I need to push myself in order to make these videos. As you can see, I'm going to want to do a really good backdrop as much as I can because I don't have, uh, I'm still learning on the green screen so that I can make the videos not just more entertaining, but you get a visual of what it is that we are going to confront. It's not just for show. What is coming is really big. Our surrender needs to be very real. We won't be able to withstand. This is not fear mongering. This is just to wake up my brothers and sisters to be able to know when the Lord is speaking to us, even within our own lives. The information does nothing. But the true honest seeker, the seeker of Christ, will be wanting to know, wanting to understand, wanting to bring out the scriptures. Seeing what do they mean? What do they mean? You want to know. You want to question. You want to ask. And the Lord has the answers. God bless you.